Welcome to our video on the West Nile virus. What is the West Nile virus? An arbovirus that was first encountered in 1937 in the blood of a Ugandan woman presenting with symptoms of a fever. It was first identified outside Africa and the Middle East in 1999 at New York City. A member of the Japanese encephalitis of the genus Flavivirus belonging to the family Flaviverde. Flaviverde are spherical viruses which contain a small single strand of RNA. The RNA strand is enclosed in a nucleocapsid which is surrounded by a lipid bilayer membrane. This is an image of a colorized transmission electron micrograph of the West Nile virus. What kind of infections does this pathogen cause? Only 1 in 5 people infected with the virus develop the West Nile virus. Mild infections of the West Nile virus. A majority of people with the mild case of the virus develop a fever and recover completely with the side effects of fatigue and weakness lasting for weeks or sometimes months. Severe infections of West Nile virus. Neuroinvasive diseases such as meningitis, encephalitis and acute flaccid paralysis. One in 150 people infected with the West Nile virus develop a neuroinvasive disease. Most common cause of epidemic meningoencephalitis in North America. Who does this pathogen affect? The most prominent risk factor for acquiring West Nile virus is exposure to infected mosquitoes in an area where the virus exists, such as the Middle East. During the summertime, most cases arise as the weather is hotter and more mosquitoes are active. Having medical conditions such as cancer, diabetes, hypertension and kidney disease increase the chances of getting the virus. Receiving an organ transplant from affected individuals. People over the age of 50 are more likely to get the virus. This is due to their weakened immune system. It's more common in older adults than in children, even though children also have a weakened immune system. It is also slightly higher among males in comparison to females. This is an image of the approximate global distribution of West Nile virus. Incidence of the West Nile virus neuroinvasive disease by age. Numbers of human West Nile virus cases in the US from 1999 to 2005. What are the symptoms of this infection? Only one out of five people who contract the West Nile virus develop symptoms. Symptoms include fever, rashes and headache, etc. How is this infection transmitted? What is the site of infection? The infection is transmitted through infected mosquito bites. Mosquitoes become infected by feeding on infected birds. Less common ways the West Nile virus is spread is through exposure in a laboratory setting, blood transfusion and organ donation, mother to baby during pregnancy, delivery or breastfeeding. The West Nile virus transmission cycle. What is the incidence of this infection in Ireland? Only one case of the West Nile virus fever was reported between 2012 and 2017. It occurred in 2013. It is very uncommon in Ireland as there is a very low mosquito population. How was this infection diagnosed? Laboratory tests. There may be a rise in the West Nile virus specific IgM antibodies in the infected blood in response to West Nile virus. Spinal tap is used to diagnose meningitis by analyzing the cerebrospinal fluid that surrounds the brain and spinal cord. If the West Nile virus is present, an elevated white cell count may be present. How is the infection treated? There is no specific treatment. Some symptoms include fever may be reduced by the use of over-the-counter medication. In extreme cases with serious symptoms, hospitalization may be necessary. Patient may need to receive treatment by administration of pain medications and intravenous fluids. If a person presents with severe meningeal symptoms, they often require pain medication to subside headaches alongside antimetic therapy for rehydration after severe nausea and vomiting. Patients are closely monitored if encephalitis develops as there is high chance of raised intracranial pressure and potential development of seizures. If patients develop polyomyelitis or encephalitis, they should be closely observed for failure to protect their airway. Rapid development of acute neuromuscular respiratory failure may result in the need for ventilatory support. Complications associated with the infection. Approximately 1 in 150 people infected with the West Nile virus will develop severe forms of the disease. People over 50 and immunocompromised persons are most at risk for neuroinvasive disease, West Nile encephalitis, meningitis and West Nile poliomyelitis. Fatality rate is between 4 and 14 percent, 15 to 29 percent in patients over 70. Myocarditis, pancreatitis, fulminant hepatitis occur in some outbreaks. 0.3 to 0.7 percent of infections result in meningitis or encephalitis. 
Seriously ill patients suffer long-term morbidity after recovery, including fatigue, memory loss, difficulty walking, muscle weakness and depression. Preventative measures include, there are no vaccines available, prevent mosquito bites, reduce risk of animal to human transmission, blood and organ donation restriction and testing. These are our references.